Good morning. My name is Dr. Nicholas Stamato, and I'm a cardiologist and the chief of the medical staff at Campbell County Hospital. I'm talking to you today because I am very concerned about the potential effect of the COVID-19 virus on our community. I have talked to our public medical director, I have talked to our public health medical director, Dr. Patel, and he and I agree that this is an important problem that we must all address. The president has said we are at war, and he is right. This is a war. It's a war against an invisible enemy. And this enemy can harm us, and harm many of us. The Surgeon General on Monday of this past week stated that he's concerned that this epidemic will be worse than it needs to be. Worse because many of us are not taking this as seriously as we need to take it. So please, please follow the advice of our public health officials. From today on, everyone, everyone in our community must do all they can to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus. You may think that we only have one case in our county, but that is not true. We only have one case that we have been able to test. The experts tell us that we probably have hundreds, if not thousands of people already infected by this virus in our county, and that this will continue to grow on a daily basis. We all will be affected by this virus. Each and every one of us will either become ill ourselves or know someone as a close friend or family member who becomes infected. Large numbers of us Thousands of us in Campbell County will get the COVID-19 virus. Fortunately, for the vast majority of us, it will be like getting the flu. We'll feel sick, we'll have a cough, we may sneeze, we'll have a fever, all the symptoms of a flu, the aches and pains of a flu. And for most of us, that will be all there is to this. If you do get any of these symptoms, you need to stay home all the time and not go out until all of these symptoms are gone and have been gone for at least three full days. Unfortunately, there will be some of us who will get much sicker from this virus. There will be thousands of us who will need to be in the hospital and hundreds of us that will be in intensive care. And, unfortunately, there may be hundreds of us who die from this virus. And not all of those will be the elderly and the sick. This virus can kill people from the age of 20 to the age of 80. So we must take action now. We cannot wait. A significant number of us will spread this virus unintentionally. And so we must take care to do what we can to keep us from spreading this virus. We need your help. We need your help starting today. All of us must practice all of the things I'm sure you've all heard, but let me repeat them. We need to wash our hands. This virus is spread by coughing and sneezing. And these droplets from our coughs and sneeze spread in the air. So if we're closer than six feet to another person, and they are infected, and they cough or sneeze, we will inhale the droplets of the virus. We can't see these droplets. We can't feel these droplets. We can't see the virus or feel the virus. And we will breathe them in. If someone coughs or sneezes on a surface, and we touch that surface with our hand, and then put our hand to our face, our mouth, our eyes, that virus will get into our body and will become infected. The virus can live for hours and hours on the surface, and in some conditions it actually can live days. Therefore, we have to clean our surfaces regularly, particularly surfaces in public places, keyboards, your computer mouse, your iPhone, your cell phone. Those things all have to be cleaned regularly. Countertops need to be cleaned regularly. We also need to be sure that when we sneeze or cough, we use a napkin or a Kleenex 
Use it once and throw it away. We cannot carry a Kleenex with us all day and use it over and over. That will just reinfect us over and over with the virus. We need to be sure that when we cough, we try to control our cough. Cough into your elbow. Don't cough into the air. That'll just spread the virus around you. We need to stay home most of all. If you are sick, please do not go out. You may not feel terribly sick, but if you have any of these symptoms, you really do need to stay home until you're completely better and have been completely better for three full days because you still spread the virus for up to three days after you're better. If you're not sick, you need to stay home as much as possible. Plan your trips out of your home and plan them so you make as few as possible. Make a grocery list like my mother used to make of what every meal is going to be for the rest of that week. Write down what you're going to have for dinner every night. And if you get to the grocery store and they don't have what you were planning, buy something else. When you go out to the grocery store, fill your car with gas. Don't make two trips when you can do it all in one. Try to go out alone if possible. The more of us who leave our homes, the more of us will spread this virus. When you go out to take takeout from one of our local restaurants, which we should all do to support them, please plan your trip so that any other errand you need to do can be done on one trip. Communicate with each other using your electronic devices. Try not to get together if you can. What happens in the next few months in our community is in our hands. We are blessed by the fact we have a little extra time than they do in New York, California, and Washington to plan for this. What happens is literally in your hands. Thank you.